They didn't have cell phone service, they didn't use a credit card, and they survived on water and these, some jelly beans. As KG's Megan Coxine explains, they hope their story will remind others that even if you're going out just for a day trip, be prepared. We just wanted to go get some lunch, yeah. and there we were. Lunch and a scenic drive Monday toward Mount St. Helens ended abruptly for John and Pat Norvell. When we finally got up to the point where I couldn't go no more, as I was going to start to back back down the hill, and I hit a rut and it threw me right into the ditch. So the, we were stuck. Their Jeep sat stuck for five days off a forest road near Cougar as nearly two feet of fresh snow fell around them, erasing their tracks. John slept behind the wheel. I'm sore. I'm sore all over. You know, if I could have ripped the steering wheel out, I would have. The pair cuddled up with blankets. Oh, did it ever keep us very warm? Use their half a tank of gas sparingly for heat yeah. while also melting snow into water. We had two of these, and we would just, I'd take a spoon and I'd just fill it and tap it down and pack it down. Their only food, jelly beans, and they left their medication for diabetes at home. Friday, I was really starting to panic that we'd never be found. But by Friday afternoon, a group of snowmobilers showed up, and with his new retirement gift, John snapped a photo of an experience he and his wife will never forget. Do you feel lucky to be alive? Yes, yeah. I do. I feel very lucky. Megan Cockstein, K2 News. The couple says they're thankful for their family who worked tirelessly to help find them, and they say they learned two lessons. One, always have water nearby, and two, leave a credit card trail. Because the couple had paid for their lunch in cash, there just weren't any records of where they'd recently been.